today was our first official, let's see, first official like day we actually did something in Kenya besides traveling. We went to SWAP, we met the people of SWAP more like, and we did some interviews. We learned about this water filtration system, I don't know what it was called, but it was like really big. It was really cool. And we talked to the community elder, member of the community, and we met with little children. They were really cute and they were thirsty. Yeah. And then we went to the Pampers, um, Pampers store yeah. thing. Yeah, store. just called like the Pampers store. And they sold pure water packets and Pampers and Always and uh, just mosquito basic nets. Stuff. Basic stuff to help the community there. And that was like 45 minutes outside of um, well, we're still in Kissing, I think, but I don't know. It was 45 minutes away from where we are. Thoughts? What are thoughts on the day? Mm. It was a tiring day, but it was worth it. Oh, my goodness. It's a good day. Yeah. I'm excited for tomorrow. And there's a yeah. lot of I don't like bugs. So it's really excited to go to the yeah. orphanage. Yeah. Yes, orphanage. Little We're children are so cute. Yeah. We got a bunch of pictures of them. What strikes you most about Kenya that you didn't expect? The pe maybe the people. I didn't th think they're gonna be that friendly. They just walk up to you and like talk to you. I learned new handshakes today. It's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to learn Swahili, but I don't oh. learn very well. The kids started laughing at her. Actually, they laughed at Sydney. We played a game too with some children. Yeah. I think like, I did pretty well. Yeah. Ropes, pretty cool. I think I did pretty well. They also laughed at us. They laughed at her. <laughs> No, they definitely left at both of you. <laughs> Maddie didn't participate in this game. I was working. Mm -hmm. um, it was called break time, but okay. Not really. What things do you think you could have done better today? Mm -hmm. Didn't I ask this question in our room? Didn't no. I? Why are you trying to say because I'm not smart? You because not. I am smart. Oh, anyway. Boy. Do you like to start? Because you, you do like talking. <laughs> um, things to do better. Boom mic. Watch that was good. That's yeah, because it, it, it's, it's hard. You know what? Tired. I feel your pain. I've done it's that before. Like it's not fun. Um, maybe communicating nice, better sir. for interview questions. And thinking. any other ideas, Madison? I'm thinking, Samantha. You know, that pretty much sums up our first official day in Kenya. Yeah. Sums it up. Yep. That's one way you should stop it right now. <laughs> Diary, day two, Good Friday, April 22nd of no, 2011. It's the 22nd, because Sam's birthday. Half birthday. Irrelevant birthday is tomorrow. It's not irrelevant. It's Friday. definitely irrelevant. Anyway, so today we woke up. And Sam's alarm didn't go off, but the rooster woke us up pretty on time, so that was kind of convenient. And then we ate breakfast and went to the Maisha Ma 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 Community Center, where we watched Water is Life give a presentation on um, just kind of ways to stay healthy. Like, they talked about germs and bacteria, cleaning hands. Um, and then we went to Sam, go ahead. We went to care. Oh well, the pump. Oh, you didn't want to. I thought you were covering the whole Maisha Center. Okay, wow. well, we went to the pump and it was the first time they used it, so they had the ceremony before it. And they sang for it and they prayed. And then they pumped it and they were all excited. Then we went to the care center and we met a few people. Then we went to actually people's homes and they told us about how the pure water packets improved their life and their children's life. Mm -hmm. And we went to dinner and got pizza. Which was really good. Was really good. We had eaten all day long. Twelve hours. This I, did time. I went fourteen without a granola bar. 
How's the weather been? <laughs> the nice. weather has been actually really nice. It's not that hot and there's normally a breeze. The and rain made us almost get stuck. Our car almost flipped oh over. Oh my gosh. Today. It, it did really, not almost yeah, flip It did yeah. almost flip over. Yeah, it was pretty close. It was like bad. Jessica, would you agree? How was your impression of the people of Kenya? Uh, everyone's are, so friendly. Yeah. That's, learned that's new handshakes. Especially from like the villages and the um the villages and like the places that we go to visit are especially friendly and like they all like even with the language barrier they all kinda know how to ask what's your name and oh my name's this. Everyone knows like just a little English. Anything that surprised you that you didn't expect? Some of the mm -hmm. So Maybe it's, like, it's um, how people act, even though they don't have a lot of um, items. They're still really friendly, and they always try to help you, even though they don't have as much as you do. Do they seem happy? Yeah. Yes. Has any new relationships developed between you and the people of Kenya? <laughs> what well, you trying to say? say? <laughs> Sinclair <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> will be married off to a, a lovely boy, Abraham, on Monday. <laughs> So, that's not he's a very nice boy. In. He's a little older than her, so it works out perfectly. That's not. <laughs> Shut up. No, we're getting 14 goats for her. <laughs> it's a fair trade. <laughs> we, we couldn't get them to say 15 because she's well, not worth it. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say? Um, I can't believe you. Right. This is a very long day, but it was. Very good. Naps are fun. You know, yeah. need naps to naps. keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Oh, it's fun to hang your head out the window when the wind goes. You know, that's how I fall asleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that? It's like a goat? <laughs> yes. It's like the 14 that she's going to be. She'll have 14 goats. Uh -huh. Monday. Does need you have anything to add? I don't want to get married. <laughs> 13 is a private age for her. Oh, they all met in odd when we. We're just too old. Yeah, we're teens, old maids. <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. No. That, that Wait, anything good. anything to improve upon for tomorrow? Hopes and dreams? Goals? No. Just, Maybe no. um, some people don't need to snap on others. <laughs> and the car, you she told me. No, you. not you. This one. Oh. You've been nice to me. In the car, she's like, could Thanks. you just like stop talking? I didn't have that. She yes, said you did. She says that to me when we're at home. I think this is not for this camera. This is for no. camera. No. <laughs> she, she, not, she said that to me. Uh, it's it's kind of rude. She takes that tone it's with me all the time. Ew, it's not nice. When you're not around, it's just it's just evil. shut up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like that's why. Like, shh. Like, you need to like. Uh, <laughs> she, Once you marry her, she off, we'll be done with her. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. No wonder I'm getting mad at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's, good. Oh, That's good. So, my worst experience would have to be... Always starting with the worst. You know what? You gotta, get, you gotta gradually get better. So my worst experience would be getting sick. Pepto-Bismol tablets are not very good. They make you want to throw up. Especially when you're on bumpy rides and safaris. <laughs> not a good mixture. Well, and my best experience, because I like to end it out on a good note. No. Just, that's just me. All right. Would be the Maisha Center and the Pampers. Pampers, yeah, Pampers place, where I got to play like some game with some kids. I was like jump, it was like jumping ropes. I don't know if I was that good at it, and I didn't understand. No. I they told me I was good, but no, they, didn't. they didn't. She just they were like I did better than you. No, you no, yeah, you I didn't. didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. I jumped pretty well, but they're just mean to me. They double team me because they're sisters. I, I can show you how you jumped and it's okay, what, pretty funny. What about your okay. experience? I think my favorite was most definitely seeing the well being put in. Like the final like. Or the uh, um, pump dedication yeah. ceremony. Yeah. And then like seeing the water crown like how happy the children at the Maisha Center were. And the least favorite part would have to be the first night or being so tired. <laughs> and like the jet lag and Okay. I think I'll, I'll give you about 30 seconds to think of one adjective to describe your trip, trip so far. I hate games like this, Jocelyn. Why do we do this? Uh, can we have two? Two, okay, I'll give you two. Okay. I got mine. What if it's a hyphen? That's fine. Is that one? That's fine. 
Oh, wait. Hyphenated words change mine. <laughs> I thought May was first, so... Just... No, I'm not first. Okay, so Cindy, what, which one do you have? Oh. <laughs> I'll go. Can yeah, I say, like, Whirlwind? You. Whirlwind? Okay. Ooh. And I like that one. Um, I would have to go with open-minding. Like, wait, open-minded. Oh, oh, minded? Yeah, okay. mind, open-minded. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm really That's tired right now. And tiring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maddie? Um, adventurous. How about inspirational? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, now if you were to come here to the first time and your idea was to understand if they really did have a water problem, what would be the first clue that you would see that they have a water problem here? I'm, I go ahead. Okay. Okay. I can go after some. Um, just when we like drove through like to around Kissimmee, we saw kids just like playing in these dirty water ponds and everything and just knowing that it's not clean. The, um, like especially the goats, cattle, livestock and like garbage that are all over the streets and just like everywhere, that kind of gives a clue that the water's not going to be clean. And if you just look, the water just looks dirty. It does, there's like garbage floating in it and there's like just dirt chunks. It doesn't look very nice and appealing. It's not like People crystal blue. Of water yeah. <laughs> okay, now give me one word that describes the people of Kenya. Friendly. Friendly. Yeah. What? Do you all agree with that? Friendly? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Not dedicated. Hardworking. How's yes. the food been so far? Oh, don't get us started on the food. <laughs> okay. The food was iffy at everywhere except the Lion Hill Lodge. No. That's where we got No, in, in my opinion, I think the right. Lion Hill Game Lodge place was amazing. I mean, and it tasted good. Because they had like sick. a garden and then you just ate the food from there and it was really good. So you could eat like fresh fruit and stuff. And it was yeah, the chicken like here, I was like, mm, you know, I wasn't too sure about That's it. It's a random part. You know, yeah, they would food. just cut it up and throw it in and boil oh, the chicken. Yeah, I, I didn't know what part of the chicken I ate, but it, <laughs> it was like, the meat came off, so, you know, I guess it was okay. But, and then at the Lion Hill Lodge, you know, I don't know, like, it tasted good. I had I tried to sample everything. That wasn't a good idea because I got sick. But the juice is always really good. You know, it's a good juice. Passion fruit juice. Yes, juice Passion is really good. Passion fruit juice. So good. And the and desserts. Yeah, we went, the one pizza place that we've gone to like yes. twice is really good. Okay, and we're going to close by playing the same game one more time and see if you can remember named animals you saw on your safari. Go. Why do we have to play it again? Go, because I missed oh, it. Oh, zebra. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's your turn. Good oh, job. I thought it was lion. I was gonna say tiger. Um, <laughs> lions, tigers, and giraffe. Bears, oh my. Stork. Hyena. Hippo. Rhinoceros. Flamingo. What's the name? Dada. Pelican. Giraffe. Wait, do, do we see pelicans? You said giraffe. I said giraffe already. No way. I saw a baboon. Water buffalo. Water buck. It always wins on me <laughs> when we can't think of it. Uh, it was a uh, um, antelope. Gazelle. I said gazelle. Oh, jackal. Darn it, that's what I was trying to think about. <laughs> Mm, mosquito. Can we really say mosquitoes? Yes, yes. we can. Moth. We saw a lot of them. Moth. Mm -hmm. Can I say beetle? Because I yeah. said it last time. No, oh, that wasn't on the safari. That was in the whole hey, include. It was included in the rules. It was not. What did you hear around the hotel that night? Wait, uh, who won the game? Oh, <laughs> baby. Baby. That baby would not be quiet. Well, the first hotel we heard dogs and I think alarms. he meant roosters. Roosters, babies, dogs, and alarms. Like, we woke up to birds. a rooster. Lots of birds. Oh, birds yeah. are, and mosquitoes, you know, like the homie links. Is, oh, is that just bugs? That's just you. Yeah. I hear Any closing remarks? 
I'm excited oh. for tomorrow. Yeah. And what are you going to do tomorrow? We go to the Maisha Center and we have a cultural exchange and then we're going to give away bracelets and stuff and then we're going to give away soccer balls. And we saw their soccer ball and it's just like a bunch of like rags tied mm -hmm. up and like that big. So we got some nice ones to give them. Very good. I bet All right, wait, I'll, I'll start. Okay, so. You should, we should let Sydney start for once. Today, yeah. No. Let Sydney start. Today, She's never no, started. Let, let me start. start. Fine, okay, then make next second. second. All right, so. <laughs> you said. <laughs> you said I could go. Okay, so today we went to the Maisha Center. No, no, no. I want to start. <laughs> let Sydney start. Okay. She's never started. Go, Sydney. Today we went to the Maisha Center, and it was our final day, and we did a culture exchange. Cultural. Cultural sorry. exchange. Sorry. I'm cool. sorry. It was really interesting to see how like different our cultures were they're actually really the same yeah. they're different so they're well different, i mean there like, were it was really minute differences they wanted to see how we danced well we didn't dance no dance dancing is <laughs> interesting we decided not to dance for them they were disappointed i did a little dancing but it wasn't good not the dancing that they wanted to see yes oh okay so we I'll start with Emmanuel. We, there's this little boy that we oh met the gosh. first time we were there. He's probably like three or four years old. Three and, and a half, maybe. he's just, yeah, I guess three and a half. Three Sounds and about half. right. Sounds all right. We, so, we know, we <laughs> found out today that he actually is an orphan there, so he sleeps there. And he's, he was always like hanging around us and kind of everyone from our group, especially Mike. We used to want to take um, him home. Yeah, basically, we figure where someone needs to adopt him and bring him back home because we can't leave him here. He's like, so we're gonna talk to Mike's girlfriend, I think, and convince her that she needs he, a son. If he, anyone watching this sees this, he is the cutest little child. Cutest child. And, and uh, precious. All these other kids, precious. they were all so nice. And then, yeah, all the kids. Francis, Francis and Paul. Abraham. And they're all so oh, nice and yeah. so friendly. So nice. And they need oh a God. loving home. Well, it's not, not like all the, of them. The yeah, like, commercial sale. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> but Emmanuel he, does. Emmanuel does. He is so cute. Well, I think cute doesn't even describe him. <laughs> just it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just like a He is the little cute. package. You have a picture you can show. Yes, yes. give him oh, out. Oh, Maddie's are the best. He, all right. Just a moment. Like it'll take oh, your breath away once you look at him. Oh, you gotta God. show what of just him. I'll show the really good one. It picked up right where I left off, so they're right cute up to him. Aww. It is so cute. Like pull it back a little bit farther. Right. I'll zoom in. Please take him. <laughs> Only if we know you, because we want to babysit. <laughs> yes. We want to babysit. I want my parents to adopt him, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, me either. So then I can totally like imagine him he and would, my little brother. We would take him everywhere. Emmanuel, you'd be one lucky child. Oh. oh gosh, do you think we should probably move on to like summing yeah. up the trip or? Oh, we played volleyball. Yeah, with... we played oh, volleyball. We yeah, America, we showed, we did not represent America well. No. It was America versus Kenya. Like... And America did horrible. Sorry, America. I apologize. Oh Anything gosh. else? We did horrible. It was like, at the middle, it was like 12 to like 3 and yeah. Yeah, we had 3. They Maybe. kept like upping the end point. Because like... they felt bad. Yeah, we were doing really bad. See, that's the good thing about Kenya. People feel bad for you, and they let you have more chances. We didn't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. Forgiving. We were kind um, of horrible. They, they gave us lunch, too, which we... The tortillas were, like, really good, but Sam and I were really scared to eat anything because we didn't want to get sick. We got and sick then, the day before, as we told And you. then Sam was... Or, and then, sorry, Cinny um, was yeah. kind of feeling sick, so she didn't. But it was very nice them cook to cook for us. The tortillas were I delicious. I felt bad not eating everything because like I they don't know. Spend they spend so much time. And they take like, or they really enjoy cooking for you. So huh. what couldn't else? do it. What else did you do? Any other filming today? Oh, water carts. Yeah, we went up to people. Like there's these little water carts. It's like a cart, and there's about is it nine? There's nine no, jumps. No, there's way more than nine. Probably there's, like 12, there's nine. 15. There's nine. more than nine. Wait, there's 12. Okay, there's 12. Pause. No, there's 9 or 12. 12, I'm 12 thinking. to 15. Yeah, there's 12. And they're it's like 30 12. pounds each, so like the cart weighs like 700 pounds or something. And... I it was 300 to 500 kilos. You, it, it was 700. Mm. I swear you told me 700. They don't know pounds. Okay. 
He said 300 They weighed a lot. And so we asked people, like, what was in them? But the weird thing is, they put, like, the water in chemical containers. So even though you, like, get the water yeah. and you purify it, there's still chemicals in it. So. They bought the jugs from chemical companies. So you're never going to get that water clean. Yeah, it's uh -uh. basically poison. That soap mm. does not clean that water. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> and none of the filters that were, like, discussing... Uh, take out chemicals so that water wouldn't be purified anyway. Yeah, and I asked him if I could lift up his cart. He told me no, because he said he spent so much time, like, filling it up and traveling with it. Like, it's just, like, his pride. So I can understand, because I probably would have dropped it, and it probably would have spilled. So, actually, I probably would not have been able to lift it up. Why am I lying to myself? <laughs> Should we move on to, like, what we talked about at dinner? Well, either at dinner or did you stop anywhere else to film? Yeah, we yeah. went to a pond and a lady oh, was filling up right. her like a little water jug and we asked her about the water and she told us that like if it's dry season she has to walk like thirty minutes back and like thirty Five minutes there. Kilometers each way. Yeah. So it was about thirty minutes they were saying. So I think that would be more, more than thirty minutes. That's what Michael said, thirty minutes. Five kilometers is more than five miles. Oh, uh, I guess maybe it's more than thirty minutes. But it's a long journey. Okay, what else did you do today? Maybe last. You want to talk about the jugs on her head? Um, oh man. Yeah, we pumped um, water from a well at the Maisha, or from a pump at the Maisha Center, and then we tried carrying buckets of water like on our head, and I don't know, we definitely could not take our arms down. Like we had to hold it up. Those like Kenyans this. showed us how. Oh it was my gosh, done. they put it on their head and we're just it walking like, around. Whoa, we did not do good. Like it was the easiest thing. They laughed at us. But they laughed at us when we were playing volleyball too. Yeah, they like to laugh at us. Did, Silly did you, Americans. Did you give them any presents before you left? Oh, oh the yes. bracelets. They were so excited. Oh my, oh my gosh, you had bracelets in your hand, you held them like this. They They're were gone. gone in two seconds. We like, had, I understand. We had over 300 bracelets probably. Oh, over that even. Well, they, des like, they deserve them. So even though they may have taken a little faster than expected, it was a whole bunch of they good were gone, like. Five minutes totally just How many people were in the exchange? How many kids did Probably about 150. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Ish. 150 to three of us. Oh. And how did you do uh, at dinner? What, what you, where did you go for dinner? We went to this restaurant on Lake Victoria where you can go and like see hippos, except we didn't really see the hippos. The sunset was really the pretty, though. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah, I didn't see the sunset either. But we're the food was up. really good. I didn't think the food, I don't know, my appetizer yeah. was good, but the I ate most of their food. So bland. I ate, like, took Ugh. a bite of each of theirs, and then I finished Maddie's food off and ate my food. You know, it was, I didn't really like Maddie's food, even though she kind of like it, but that's okay. Or like I added some hot sauce for you. So. I Sam have discovered my new, sauce. my new, like, love. It's hot sauce. Who knew? Hot sauce and eggs? Delicious. Yes. And what are you planning on doing tomorrow? Um, no, tomorrow going we're home. Going, tomorrow we go home. Okay, so this is how we crack the time down. Isn't it like a six-hour drive to the airport? Yeah, but it's like then we have to be at the airport for like an hour. No, but we, it's like Maybe the drive. Maybe. We're waking up like really early, like really six thirty, and we're having breakfast. Six thirty? What? Oh my gosh, let me talk. <laughs> six thirty, and then we're having breakfast here at St. Anna's, and then we're gonna go on the car ride from Kissimmee to Nairobi, and we'll be stopping at like the Maasai place where they have like jewelry and things like that and then we're just gonna like stop along the way at different places. Then 16 hours planes. Not including our four hour layover. Eight hour, yeah, eight hours of flying, four hours of layover. I think that layover eight hours of and flying, then. one hour bus ride. Yeah, one hour bus Following ride. Following getting all our luggage and you getting the luggage, then the fun. ride home. So It's gonna be a long day tomorrow. A long yeah. two <sighs> day and a half. It's gonna be like God. a day and a half, you know. Darling. Hopefully, I sleep because I've discovered I can sleep in any position possible. You know, it's interesting. Like I slept like this. All the new things we discover, man. Yeah, slept on the ground with my head on a seat. I don't know how that worked out, but I felt pretty good after I was done sleeping. Anything else you'd like to add before we close yes, off? Yes, the um stuff that we talked about at dinner. Like, what was the biggest thing we'll take away? Okay. So, um, what I'm going to take away most, I think, is that the people here are so happy for, like, no matter what their situation. And honestly, like, 
we say, or, and especially we can, or I think that a lot of people in America would consider themselves, like, better than Kenyans or something like that, but honestly, like, we don't seem to enjoy so much of the things that we have that we, you can't even consider yourself better, like, that's, it's just kind of ridiculous to think of yourself above them, because they, of how they act and they just treat everyone so much better, and I don't know, their attitudes are, like, yeah. A million times. Yeah, they find the best in like every situation and are always happy and and we just complain and yeah. whine. I have to say like I and take they enjoy my school. Can, just one more point to add to that. They enjoy school and like kids don't even do their homework in America and like they just blow everything off and don't listen to teachers and like Kenyans have like respect and they I don't know. It's just there was amazing. A bug. Oh, and I have to say like I'm gonna appreciate my material goods, like stuff with my cell phone and everything, since I've been gone like a week and everything, like, no, I know I you're probably, miss it. I don't I'm not want saying it. I miss it, but I'm saying like, I, want it. I just th thought of something that I should have now that like, I realize that they don't have all the stuff I have that I really don't need it, and I'd also say like the water issue, like I use, I used to waste so much water, like brushing my teeth, okay, we use like a bottle of water here, I use like this much. It makes you so aware of how yeah. much you dump out because we only I have so to, much bottled water. The drain, water. the like faucet would be on the whole time. That'd be like two minutes. I'd just be water, would just be going down the drain. You know, I'm not gonna do that anymore. You run the faucet while you drink, brush your teeth. It's like, like a crime. I don't even do no, that. I go like, okay. This let me let me break it down for you. So okay, I have the faucet <laughs> on. I put my brush my teeth. And I go like this, turn it off, and then when I'm spitting, I have the water on. Because right, I don't like right. looking at it's my spit. It's a little spit. better. A little better. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do that anymore. And also, it's to be like, wear a happy face, even when you're mad. That's a new lesson. Yeah, I think once I get home and like, get rested and readjusted, I think, oh. I don't know, I know I'm going to make an effort to be just happier. <laughs> Well, the first day, like, more we, have a, we have an excuse to be crabby because we're going to be very tired. After that, no excuses. No excuses. It's over. Yep. Cindy? Oh, shit lag. Losing eight hours. Yeah. Very good. Yeah.